Back to you, Freight Waves Now once again. We've got our last live guest of the morning for you, welcoming Chuck Oles, the Chief Revenue Officer over at Next Trucking. Chuck, thank you so much for joining us. I know we tried to get you on last week, so it's great to have you on our airwaves. Oh, you bet. Thank you for having me. Excited to, to talk with you folks. So let's talk a little bit about what Next Trucking is at the get-go. You guys are involved in a pretty exciting pilot po program right now at the San Pedro Ports Complex, but let's talk a little bit first about what you guys do at your company. Sure, absolutely. So Next Trucking is is about is around a five year old company. We've we've done a tremendous job growing the organization year over year. Our, our two product lines are really drayage and OTR. Majority of what we do today is is in the ports uh, with the drayage uh, opportunity. Now that's what we'll talk about today is some of the changes that that we've made when it comes to the drayage product. And and as we all know the the ports and the terminals are very congested so that's why why i'm excited to be here to talk through some of that with you folks yeah chuck let's jump into that what are going to be some of the the, the nuances or some of the changes that you're making within this segment sure so so look we all know and then most viewers probably know the the congestions and the things that we've faced over the last almost two two and a half years what we've done is we've partnered with with a multitude of, of different um, steamship lines terminals uh, and the the cargo owners themselves and and also the drivers which is the most important so what we've done is that we've put a seamless transaction together where a, a beneficial cargo owner or say the customer can come in and buy from a from a steamship line and then also have the ability to connect directly to the terminal so they don't have to wait in these lines at, at, Typically, they could wait days and days and days to get their to get their freight offloaded. Then what happens is we're able to then work with the terminals as the trucker to be able to remove all of the the inefficiencies that we have within the terminals, the scheduling, the the lines and lines of truckers. We're able to just pull in, grab a container, pull out, and deliver it to the customer. So it it, it really helps. It helps the driver, which is extremely important. It helps the terminal, and it also helps the steamship line because they're able to move faster. They're able to get more and more freight out so they don't have their vessel sitting. And then in change or in, in return to that, the, the customers that are paying for all of this then get their freight on time or or earlier so they can now get that, that, that product out to be able to sell it. So this program that you guys have launched is called Next Bedited, which I love the play on words also. And let's talk a little bit about the pilot itself. How long did this run? How long have you guys been in testing with it? And what has been kind of the general response so far from the pro program? Sure, sure. Great question. So um, we started our first vessel in January, and we've, we've had several vessels since then. What we've seen in some cases, that actually most cases, all but, but one, and, and they only case that we had a little bit of a hiccup was because the customer couldn't receive quick enough. But but what we've seen is in some cases it reduced by 20 days plus the customer receiving their freight. So very, very exciting. Most of the, and I shouldn't say most, we've had nothing but positive feedback from both the, the, the steamship line, the customer, the drivers, and, and really even the terminals. So they've, it's all been very successful. Um, we, we've been very cautious in rolling this out because we don't want to be inundated and we want to be able to provide the, the, a good service and roll it out in a smart way to make sure we continue to provide that same service. And so, Chuck, uh, we're really being plugged into so many different facets, especially with drayage and, 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 and shipments coming into the country. Need to know, are there any trends or, or any kind of movements that you're seeing that's a little bit different in this market um, over the last year or so that have really started to develop that you haven't quite seen over the last, um, you know, years or so in the supply chain? Yeah, so I've been in the industry for almost almost 30 years now, and I've never seen anything like this, right? Uh, the last two years has been, and this isn't just on the drayage side, this is really holistically through the supply chain. Um, I, you have to get creative. And, and um, that's how this started yeah. uh, with myself and one of the terminals. And we've had a lot of communication and talks about what can we do differently to be able to get those vessels in and unloaded and back out. Um, and, and 
the creativity is what's going to change the industry. And also, I would say there's more partnership going on right now, especially on the Dre side. Typically, you wouldn't see someone like ourselves connecting so deeply with the terminals and, and the vessel owners or the steamship lines. And and uh, that's where you're going to be able to find the wins. It's, it's not so much segregated to where it's just the trucker, or it's just the terminal, or it's just the, the vessel owner. We're coming together with all of those folks and creating something Thing that the customer can trust and buy. So obviously a lot of the solutions for these congestion problems come out of a public-private partnership or this willingness for both private companies to work with the government entities in control. And we've seen that a lot now as the FMC is getting more involved in what's going on in the ports and you've got kind of this microscope now focused especially on the West Coast port situation. Earlier this week we talked to our Washington correspondent John Gallagher about how the FMC was launching their own pilot program to kind of gather data and create almost like this open openly shared data network about what goes on at the ports. Have you guys heard about this program? And if so, is there any types of plans for participation for your guys' platform to maybe be rolled into that government microscope as well? So look, I've 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 heard about the program. I've I've read a little bit about it. We've got more work to do to determine what we want to do. But um, look, I, I I'm very I'm I'm a very aggressive um, um, person that wants to learn more and and drive change within the supply chain. Our whole organization that's what we're about. That's why Next Trucking is here. Uh, we we are a tech company that that uh, happens to be in logistics, and uh, we're continually trying to find ways to make change. And uh, if, if it's right for us, we'll definitely move forward. And Chuck, of course, before we let you go, I also want to know, what does the outlook kind of look like for the supply chain, especially on your, your viewpoint, you're looking at drayage in that industry? What are you kind of seeing over the next maybe three to six months? Well, let me let me say that I don't think much is going to change in the next, say, 12 to 20, 24 months. I think we're going to be seeing the same thing um, for next trucking specifically. We're going to continue to expand throughout the U.S. We want to be in every port. Um, we're, we're working in, in multitude of ports, not right now, but the goal is to take this next but added product and, and, and run this in, in every one of the ports around the country. That's definitely a goal worth working towards. And I've, I've got to wonder that streamlining operations is obviously super key, especially when it comes to getting the driver in to the port and kind of getting through all of the clutter, I guess, which really clogs up that supply chain. But what happens when you don't necessarily have the equipment or the people to do it? And that's what's holding you back instead of the clutter around your operations. Yeah, that's a great call out. Look, I remember 20 years ago talking about driver sh shortage, right? And that was going to come. That is the key. And, and we talk about it every day in our business. What are we going to do differently to, to not, not s s take drivers from other organizations, but how are we going to pull more drivers into the industry? The, the, that's what we have to think of. Because when you ask me about operations or or the, the let's say, roadblocks that can occur in the operation, it's typically lack of drivers. And, and that we do something a little bit differently. We have we don't have just one way of ga gaining drivers. We have a, actually three ways that we pull drivers into our organization. But I want to get even more creative than that to be able to find ways to create more drivers in the industry so there's more to be uh, uh, had for our organization and others. More and the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, a great, great call out there, especially on that labor front. Are you seeing that there's any kind of needs that really need to be honed in on, especially on the infrastructure side? I can think of, of course, a few off the top of my head, but definitely want to hear from you. Yeah, look, I mean, we, we have different ways. You've got your partner carriers out there, the larger organizations, you have your owner operators, and it really depends on what, ter or what port you're actually working within, because every port's a little bit different. Um, and, and so your strategies have to be different in every port. But, uh, um, you know, we continue to work on that operationally, and, and uh, we've been very successful. Our organization has grown tremendously. I've been here for almost two years, and the amount of growth, I've, I, I just haven't experienced that in any of my other, other experiences in my professional life. Awesome, Chuck. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to see what you guys are doing at Next Trucking. If folks will maybe want to get involved with you guys or maybe take a stab at becoming the next pieces in the pilot program, where should they go to do that? 
Absolutely. You can just go to our go to our website, go to go, go to Next Trucking, and then you'll be able to either send us an email or get in direct contact with our sales group. Awesome, Chuck. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We'll be sure to check with you as you continue to expand this program. And thanks so much for joining, joining us Thank this morning. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to take one last quick break this morning, and we'll be back to wrap up your Wednesday edition of Freight Waves Now.